Man, oh man, it's been a great week of wages, man. We have had a host party. Y'all already know we got the latest host parties out there. Not, not only because we don't just watch the games, we commentate the games, we break the games down. We use the Telestrator to break down certain plays and show y'all what's going on, man. So if y'all want to be a part of that, man, make sure y'all like the, Make sure y'all come through to the watch party tonight. It's Key Sticks versus Tassino. Key Sticks versus Tassino is going down tonight. Not only is it going down tonight, man, this is going to be one of the games. It's going to be an awesome game. They're going to be doing the East-West thing. I don't know where Key Sticks is, man, but, you know, he played IQ Contain last night. He also played Trey Riggs last night. We're going to talk about those in a minute. And, uh, and a lot more. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and put win down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Look, I don't want to do the drawings on the um, on the streams where I'm I'm doing the watch parties, man, because those need to be a thing of their own. Uh, but I am going to try to stream before the watch party tonight, and we will do the drawing there. Every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC Cash App or a copy of a video game. Also, if we can average 8K views, we're close. We're going to be giving away a next-gen console. I might just give away an Xbox Series S um, just, just because, I mean, they cheap right now. They're like 230 something like that. So I might do something like that, man. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do that. Merry Christmas. And uh, last but not least, uh, we can do that. If we can average 8K views, we'll be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a computer, a laptop or something, or 500 bucks, whatever. We're going to make y'all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, last but not least, the bots are down in the comment section. Uh, make sure y'all ignore the bots, man. I'm not putting my phone number down there, and I am not putting... I'm not on Telegram. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And with all that out of the way... How you not entertained? Man, I can't lie to y'all, man. This stuff has been awesome. Watching Tassino play these guys has been dope. Um, one thing that I would say if I had any, if I had anything for anybody in this, Tassino got to stop bailing out so much, man. I know that that's his style, but if I think he could be, he's out there playing. You got to commend him. He's out there playing at a clear disadvantage, and not only is he competing, but he's winning a lot of these joints, man. When they play on East, it's a little rocky. When they play on West. It is what it is, man. It's one of them things where it's just like it's poetry in motion. He and Chrissy T, they're playing great defense. They're playing great offense. And uh, Chrissy T, I, I, carry is a strong word, but he's doing everything he can to make sure that they don't lose those games. And like I said, I got to commend them for that, man. Uh, other than that, man, those series have been great. Like he said, he got 30 by uh he got 30 by IQ Contain because IQ Contain plays on the West Coast and stuff like that. And uh, he and his partner, they was good. But Trey Riggs. Man, I thought Trey Riggs was on the verge of exposing the entire 2K community because what he was doing, he was using just the pause move, that, that 1v1 pause move where, you know, where you go this way and you just stop and you wait and see what the person is going to do and then you go or whatever. He was just using that and, and kind of just exploiting that to, to the absolute max. Can't get mad at him because when you're in a wager, you want to do what absolutely works and what you feel like is going to work every time. So you don't want to be out there doing stuff that you're not sure of, that you haven't practiced in any of that stuff. You want to do things that you're absolutely sure are going to work. That's what he did. He almost got the dub, but uh, it, it didn't work out for him. He, he wasn't able to get the dub. They uh, Unfortunately uh, for them, they lost. But like I said, the very first, the first two, um, the first two games, man, it looked like they were, they were, they looked like they was in a box. They looked like they had Tassino and, and Crazy T in a box. But then right after that, like I said, they went to West, and I think everybody's understanding how hard it is to play in the Wild Wild West. Like the Wild Wild West, when you go out there, bro, I'm telling you, if you're from the East Coast and you have not played out there before, you're not gonna understand how to how to do your moves. You're not gonna understand how you gotta hit the button and then wait for a second before you uh. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit the button and wait for a second before uh, well, the move goes through. Any of that stuff like that, man. So, like I said, great series. Looking for him, looking forward to him playing Key Sticks tonight. And uh, we're just going to see how that's going to go, man. Also, man, in the 2K community, man, speaking of which, when you're on the West Coast, drib I mean, dribbling is hard, but shooting is even harder. And speaking of dribbling, man, hey, that dog go. <laughs> That dog goes, uh, Badgy Pluggy, man. He said, you know, we got some people talking about shooting, man. But that joke is saying 400. Oh, man, come on, man. Man, come on, man. We don't want the picture in picture, man. We need the dog on. Uh, let's go to monitor number one. All right, let's go to monitor number two. Wow, there we go. Hey, Badgy Pluggy says 491 different shot speed time is for no reason. It's by far the worst thing about NBA 2K23. J.A. Bridgeforth says it has a reason. It's the Zen or what have you. And, uh, you know, Badgy Pluggy saying that uh, they don't need that many times to stop a Zen. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I, I guess they don't. But I've heard that on current Zen, 
it's one shot timing period. They definitely need a couple of different shot timings, but I do feel like, man, they gonna have to have, they have to do several shot timings because, because when you have just one or two, people can figure those out and play around it. You can see the one shot timing, and if it's not that one, then you just pass out of it or something like that. So I think that it's gonna be, you know, I think it's just cool just to have, that they have those several different shot timings. It really doesn't bother me because all I do is just look at the release anyway. If you look at your release, um, and just study your release and learn your release like I've been telling y'all, then you'll be fine. But if you don't learn your release, then it's gonna, you're gonna be in a world of trouble. You're just not gonna be able to rely on the timing anymore. Uh, just, just know what the timing is. You can pretty much shoot it with your eyes closed. You just do like ta-ta, and you know that's what it is, man. It, it's just one of those different things. One thing that we did hear, hear from that guy, Kai. Kai says, uh, you know, it's easy to shoot on Xbox and PlayStation uh, on my team. Less input lag when you shoot. PlayStation is way easier to dribble though. And that goes back to what I was saying about the whole thing where it's saying, yo, um, it's it, the game is more responsive on, on PlayStation. So when I hit a move, it comes on out, but the shooting and stuff like that, like you got more frames on Xbox, so it feels smoother. And so you can see, you can see your jump shot a little bit better. And that kind of affirms what I'm saying. That boy Quavo, Quavo said that about the uh, 491 uh, shot time is though. He says, this is the best tweet ever. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. He says, is it really that many? He says, it's annoying. So, yeah. What he's just saying, man, he's just exaggerating, bro. It, it ain't no big deal. But he's just saying, having so many different shot timers, it's gonna make it difficult for people to hit shots. And I think that's what's the point. Because, like we said, like, you got the green every shot, but it really only bothers you when you get the extra slow one and you sh you just know that I hit, okay, I hit that one and I did the right release and it's the extra slow one and you still miss it, man. Those are the ones that are irritating. That boy EJ came through and said, he said, I wore my side back back Ticino, uh with Tassino and a wager, then lost it all back plus more on Tassino and Trey Riggs wager. I swear I'm done for real, for real this time, guys. And Tassino just laughing, laughing emoji. And he said, there's no way, man. Hey, like I said, bro, like we, we already know, we already know that there's a strong, strong possibility that he's not even betting anything. And he just, you know, he just playing it up for the crowd. That's what EJ do, man. He's an entertainer, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't trying to knock your hustle or nothing like that, bro. It ain't no way that you bet against Tassino against Trey Riggs, man. It just ain't no way, bro. It just ain't no way. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. That boy, uh, that boy, Key Sticks, he just want to tell y'all something that's dope, man. I feel like this is a big W. And he just says, able to give my family a good Christmas over this 2K stuff. I'm really thankful. No joke. Solo says, that's a W. That's what it's all about. He says, right way, man. And, you know, everybody talking about it. What Everybody going through the community, arguing arguing with each other talking trash to each other doing this this and that that's what we got to remember bro we just trying to provide for our families and stuff like that and this is just a conduit um to through through which to do it this stuff ain't serious it ain't really nothing we just we just want to entertain y'all get a little cash and then we're gonna keep on moving from there man and that's what it really is all about big salute to key sticks he seemed like a genuine guy I don't know much about him, but from what I've seen, he seems like a genuine guy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I spent a lot of time in this stream, and, uh, you know, yeah, he seemed like a good guy to me, man. Up next, we got that boy, Baluba, has been tweeting again, and we kind of missed it. Hold on one second. We kind of missed it, man, and it says, I don't know how I missed this one. He says, Baluba, so you guys not never going to put Teardrop back in the game. Uh, they are, uh, let me see, they are, they are uh, he's trying to say, there are people who love to lay up and he says giant slayer helps floaters so i guess that's what it is and he says please help me please help me please help me on i guess he's trying to say on that if anything giant slayer should increase it uh from being blocked but we still want to get we still want the teardropper floater badge just ask the community and uh, that's, i don't know if that's something that anybody really want man because giant slayer does help floaters and if you put on Giant Slayer and Pro Touch, bro, you in there and you can make some you can make some crazy layups along with Acrobat. But you know, you just gotta have your timing on, layup timing on and stuff like that too, man. So it is what it is, man. This is one of those things, like he said, uh, like Mike said, Giant Slayer helps floaters, bro. So you know, um, I don't know that anybody really suits the floaters though. I think everybody trying to get on that rim. Oh, rim. Rim. I think everybody's just really trying to get on that rim, man. That's all they're trying to do. I don't think anybody's really trying to 
you know, I don't, I don't think anybody's really out there trying to lay the ball up as much as we think that they are. But I know there's some people out there that love floaters. We've seen Tysino shoot the flotation device a couple of times, but you have to invest a lot into your layup to be able to do it. I don't know if anybody's really that pressed for it, but hey, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Are y'all want to shoot those floaters? Maybe I should start shooting floaters and like that. I'd be like flotation device easy or something. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, put win down there if you made it this far. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh,